know uh, he may he may be busy with family or something like that but hopefully he'll join us yeah. soon so go ahead and tell us the, the story right. yeah okay so um i was i was in israel and i was working with teen challenge i've been a missionary 26 years and um so I was with Teen Challenge in Israel for two years. And I took one of the students to Petra. She was 22 years old. And I figured, you know, when you go to these countries, you have to renew your visa every three months. So I went to Petra, Jordan, and figured I'd come through the border and get my visa for, for Israel. So after four days, I went through the border with this student. and. Um, uh, the the woman at the border said, we're not letting you back into Israel. You get one week and you have to leave Israel. So I said, oh, what are we going to do now, right? So I went, I went back to Teen Challenge and Polly, who runs Teen Challenge, uh, she says, oh, we're going to pray. We're going to get everyone to pray that we know. And, and she was all excited, like, what are we going to do? And so my all the believers in Israel that we knew started praying and Polly knew somebody in Africa and <coughs> every, everyone says you're going to Africa <laughs> okay I never planned to go to Africa so I figured I'll go to Africa for two weeks and then go back to Israel and get my visa <laughs> well I was there nine months and I just got on this plane and went and I got to Nairobi in a little teeny plane and I landed in a field and this big tall guy with a big scar <laughs> on his face said, <laughs> and I says, oh no. <laughs> so I get in his car and he says, I'm Pastor Thomas. And he took me to a house that was empty. It was the missionaries, they were in Israel. And uh, they have a school for pastors there. So I had all servants and everything, beautiful bedroom, everything was great. And uh, I ended up staying there nine months. Well, I was working in prison ministry. I was working with women there, uh, just orphanages, doing all kinds of stuff, very busy. It ended up um, that one day, they have um, Matatus, which is a minivan, and they put 20 people in it, <laughs> and they got boards across the seats, and they cram people in, and they take you to town for 50 cents. So I would always ride on a Matatu, because your <laughs> other alternative is a motorcycle, and their motorcycles have ball tires. <laughs> your dad knows these things, because he's, he's been to, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's been to camp right near me, where I was pretty much so um i didn't I, I don't like motorcycles i didn't want to ride on a motorcycle but the government called in all the matatus so um i was not able to get to town because they wanted everyone to have seat belts in their matatus so they had to put them in the shops and whatever so um i ended up taking a motorcycle praying heavily first i had to go 10 minutes on this motorcycle and i've got my arms around this guy and no helmets <laughs> right? i let two go by that had ball tires i found the motorcycle that had a few grooves in his tires you know and the whole time i had his ear and i was evangelizing to him <laughs> on the motorcycle right and um i was just filled with the holy spirit and i got off that motorcycle and um, there were all these kids around me. And I said to the guy, well, are you going to give your life to Jesus? He says, I'm not ready. I says, okay. I walk away and there's all these little kids. And the Holy Spirit tells me, take them and evangelize them. I took all the kids and sat them on the sidewalk. There's like 15 of them. And I sat down with them and I'm talking to them about, I'm giving them the gospel, talking to them about Jesus. And there were two kids that only spoke Swahili. So um, when I, I, some guy taps me on the shoulder, he says, what are you doing? Because it was really weird for me to be sitting there with these kids. People didn't even talk to these street kids, you know? 
and they just throw them away. They throw away kids. And um, I says, well, I'm, I'm trying to give them the gospel. And this, this was a guy that knew me from, uh, I worked with like a hundred pastors there. <coughs> we, we did a day of prayer and watched the city. And that's another whole day and another whole vision and another whole story, but it was really great. So he knew me from that. I didn't know him. I didn't remember him. And uh, I says, could you translate? And he did. And we just had a great time preaching to these kids. And he says, let's do this again. I said, all right. The next Friday, we, we met again with the kids. And then the next Friday, and then all of a sudden, I said, let's start a feeding center. So I started, a, I rented a house, two bedroom house. And I was going to start feeding the street because they could come nine in the morning and stay till three and have a Bible study, get a hot meal. They could take a hot shower and they could uh, receive clothes. Of course, they would use clothes, but they were clean clothes and um, that we would buy, for, you know, you, they don't have stores there. So pretty much everything is used from here. Goodwill and stuff sends over crates. Anyway, so uh, we would buy for two dollars them jeans and shirts and whatever. So um, the kids started coming and it was great. We'd have 20, 30 kids. Well, one day the government came in and quarantined us because of COVID. And now I had like 15 kids in the house with no bed, sleeping on the floor. <laughs> it was crazy. It was totally God. And, and um, so for two months, we ended up getting mattresses and building bunk beds because people donated. And, you know, we had, I had three tier bunk beds built and I could sleep 18 kids now. And we, we, we got mattresses and ended up um, uh, housing them until the COVID quarantine was over. Well, they became a family. <laughs> and after the quarantine was over, none of them wanted to leave. So, so Narina, these, these were children with parents? They left their parents? No, they were all orphans. Okay. living in the street and we would check because sometimes they run away because they're abused and stuff so we would check we would check um their history and the police would help us and the government would help us because they want the kids off the street right <clears throat> so anyway uh the kids stayed three or four left um but then more came in the government keeps bringing us kids they can't bring us anymore we have no more beds i don't know we've got two little bedroom houses <laughs> Yeah. Let me just uh, give a quick uh, recap for Danny, just like a, a couple sentences. Uh, mm. so Narina went to Africa from Israel, and then um, she, she started evangelizing some kids. Then she just said, let's feed some. They had a daytime from 9 to 3 p.m., and then suddenly they got quarantined, and the kids had to stay there. So that's how the orphanage started. So, <laughs> so all right. So go ahead. Wow. Yeah, it was really cool. Oh, oh look here, Danny. <laughs> Hi, look Hi Danny. Over. <laughs> that's that's jeffrey behind me i got a special guest uh, oh cool oh, yeah how you doing yeah jeffrey's here hey jeffrey <laughs> yeah god bless you brother how are you what's yeah. up oh, man. oh boy <laughs> yeah your signal is fading and coming and going but yeah Mine? Jeffrey's been up in Orlando for a um, while and all around, and he surprised us. Uh, had to go to Miami to get his passport today, and uh, now he's stopping by here. So we have him. Awesome. Yeah, it's the first time he's ever been in the room with me. That's awesome, man. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yeah, so I got I got my passport by the grace of God going overseas. We just finished a tour across America. It, it all started with Brother Mark. I don't really know what that called, Danny, but. Did you have to get vaccinated? Oh. No. I'm not doing that. Thank God, thank God. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. I, I, know, I know some people have tried to use that to justify it. They'll, they'll say, oh, you know, I'm not going to get vaccinated. No, no, no. But if I need to, to spread the gospel, no, nah, I'm not doing that. If, yeah. if God can transport you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> That's can, right. You get it with Philip. He's the way maker. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Exactly. If God makes it, I can't go somewhere because I'm not vaccinated, then I don't need to go to that place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. right. Good. Back to, back to Narina. She's going to tell okay. the story. Keep going. So where Narina. was I? Um, uh, so you got some of the kids left after the quarantine and then yeah. 
and then more came in. And now we have 18 kids. Um, my goal, my dream, the desire of my heart is to get some land and to be able to take in a hundred kids. <laughs> that's that's mm -hmm. what, what my heart wants. Um, well, anyway, these kids were street kids living in the street, uh, begging for food, begging for money. Uh, I have pictures of them. When we rescue them, we rescue them out of the street. And I have pictures of them sleeping in the street, all dirty and just a mess. Mm -hmm. And now they're all in school. <laughs> They're all going to school in uniform and they're doing great in school. Uh, so, you know, awesome. and they, yeah. And they, cool. Yeah, and they're learning um, they're learning organic gardening. I have a friend from another ministry there that teaches organic gardening and they're learning that. And our older kids are learning masonry, carpentry, and auto mechanics. And I have one that's came with that came to us when we first opened. He, when he was 16, he's 19 now, and he's graduating school, auto mechanic school. He got certified oh, wow. this month, and he wants to start his own little business. And um, nice, it's, hallelujah! It's such a blessing. I'm just watching God work. It's not me. That is, you know, I I'm here wow. in America. I have a pastor working there. She's a, a woman pastor, Pastor Judy. And she ministers to the kids in scripture that she teaches them. And then I have a social worker there and her name's Purity. And then I have a, 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 night, stay, a night guy, his name is Emmanuel and he stays there 24 hours. I have two security guards working wow. the gate and I have um, Collins who is my director and he's wonderful. He does all the shopping and and organizing the kids and makes the decisions after talking to me every day. <laughs> and, um, and here basically I'm raising the money and guiding them mm -hmm. because in Africa, they think a lot different than Americans, mm -hmm. you know? So they mm -hmm. need a little guidance and things that they have to do. And um, it's great. Mm -hmm. It's God. That's wonderful. It's totally wow. God. It's God. That's awesome. <laughs> God's that awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. We love hearing that. And I think um what better place that to to we, we want to help out, you know, whatever the Lord is doing. We we want to be blessed. We want to bless you. So we're just talking about that and seeing uh, I guess even uh what's good for you is monthly amounts uh, that you can budget for it, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And um only I only, just like, um, uh, well, the way it's supposed to be is only if your heart moves you, only if the Lord moves you to donate, because I don't want anything that's not of him. It, Amen. It, you know, Amen. so in prayer um, and, oh my, I would love to put the kids on Zoom. <laughs> It would be awesome. I talk to them sometimes on video yeah. and uh, it, <laughs> it's fun, but um, yeah, but well, it's easy to put ourselves in there. We're not, we, we were not born in Africa, but it's not hard right. to imagine being born in Africa and, you know, wanting the same thing for them that we have, you know, the same blessings. So, yeah, so, but we can, I think we can um, get behind you. I think everybody's in one accord that we can uh, Thank you. pray for you and then whatever, um, whatever monthly amount each person thinks uh, they should or could or whatever, you know, that will be that up to each person. But um, every little bit helps. I'm, I'm seeing your budget. It looks like every little bit helps, right? Yeah, you see, it's not a huge budget. You yeah. know, it's, mm -hmm. and, and it's, it seems to be increasing every month a little bit because now we have 18 kids. We usually had 14 or 15 and as the numbers increase, but yeah. We can't go any further than we are now yeah. until we have land. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. Did you, uh, you, know. you ever watch the uh, Molly? Did you ever see that? No, but I want to, but I don't want to watch it unless I'm with all my grandchildren. Yeah. So I have seven grandchildren here and they're homeschooled and they love the Lord. And okay. so um, I want to do a movie night. I got to get both houses together. 
and okay. we'll probably do that. Yeah, uh, and I think yeah. if I recall correctly, I think he's in Kenya. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it is yep. Kenya because okay. I watched a little of it. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And then I shut it off and said, "No, I got to watch this with my grandkids." Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's an amazing story. He 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 was rich, and he just said, "I'm I'm not going to work for money anymore," and yeah. he uh, just started bringing kids into his home. It was a yeah. nightmare, <laughs> playing on <laughs> the curtains and 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 everything. Uh, but the kids were happy and then just grew from there. It's an amazing story. Yeah. Really yeah. When the kids are happy, what can you do? You can't say go back out in the street. You right. know, what, what can you do? They're happy. They, they love That's being right. together. Yeah. They're like brothers, you know, and yeah. we only take in boys. Okay. Unfortunately, there's very few girls in the street. We never, we rarely see a girl. And that's because they're picked up to traffic. Yeah. immediately as they go in the street okay. one day maybe we can have uh a way to rescue them before they get in the street yeah. um yeah. but so sad. right now we're going to stick with boys okay. yeah <laughs> so we can we can pray for that you know that's it's it's a let's yeah. pray for those those girls it's it, it's so horrible what's going on around the world i've been open that's terrible that you know, kids are getting brought into this country from Mexico and, and on the border. I and know. Bus I know. To places and mm. it's 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 a complete crime. Mm. But I know there are there are forces, there are groups that are really working hard to to try to stop this. And I'm believing that pretty soon there's going to be a massive impact on that. But yeah. yeah, it's I never imagined like if you told me years ago that this is happening in this country. It, I, I wouldn't have believed it, but now I, right. I know what's happening. So oh, this is not this country anymore, Mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. But so. the Lord has written all this in the Bible. You read Revelation, you read Daniel. I love eschatology. I studied it deep. And we're going through birth pangs. We're going through the beginning of some real treacherous stuff, you know, and it's all good because the Lord's coming back. He's coming back. And when he comes right. back, yeah, we have that hope. We have that eternal hope. And that's what we need, you know, to keep going in, this, in this condition, you know, in the darkness. Amen. That's right. Be the light. That's right. It's, it's so soon. It's so soon. <laughs> and and we've 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 been uh, we've been hearing that like I remember uh, hearing that all the time like in the '90s when I was growing up and, and all of these rapture movies were coming out and it's like and um, but uh, but uh, according to the to the prophecies of of Kim Clement I don't know if anybody's been keeping up with that but uh, uh, most of the stuff that he is he has said has come true and uh, and the things that haven't are kind of in the process and we really don't have much more than five or six years left before, this, <laughs> before, yep. we're, before we're out of here I, i'm thinking I mean, that before, too i'm thinking even less of that but mm -hmm. um, i agree <laughs> well we have that hope no matter what it is and even if we have to go through tribulation which i know from the scriptures i don't believe we're going to but but we have that hope no, no matter what we're going to be with the king you know, if our heart is right. really right and we really love him, it doesn't matter. We're going to be with the king. It doesn't matter. That's uh, right. It doesn't matter. Amen. Yeah. We That's just something to get excited about. Yeah, it sure is. We got to stay prayed up and in the word. Prayed up and in the word. For sure. Walk in the spirit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, and I rejoice for testimonies like yours that just prove to us that you know, it's possible that we're capable of doing this, you know? And you guys have your youth. I'm old. <laughs> the, you know, <laughs> nah. the body starts to go. You know? <laughs> no, you're getting younger. <laughs> uh, I hope so. <laughs> youth is renewed like the eagle, right? Fix a few things. <laughs> For sure. He'll renew your youth like the eagles. Come on. Uh, praise God. Thank you, Caleb. 85 is still took the mountain. I was just reading we that gotta today. Believe it. I was reading that. Come today. on. We gotta, out we gotta believe it. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> right now he's repairing a few things, and then I'll be back in Africa. I guarantee you. 
as soon as I can walk right and talk right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Amen. All right. May his well be done. Yeah. That's right. Shall really we take done. some time and pray? Yeah. That's yeah. So uh so Danny uh Narina said that she's gonna have she's scheduled for double knee surgery this Wednesday, which normally we want to pray for instant healing, but she okay. she's gonna be used in the rehab by the Lord. Yeah. Um so we're going to pray for a miraculous recovery yes. and just the Lord keep his hand upon every part of it and, um, and just um, yes. do something amazing uh, right there in that, in that yeah. rehab center. So I packed a whole bag of tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pack anything else yet. But I <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. No one's walking into my awesome. path without hearing about the Lord. That's for sure. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's right. Wants to pray a prayer of blessing on her and uh, just pray for this time coming up and everything. We're starting. Just anybody can pray. You know, we'll go for a while. Anybody wants to pray when you feel led. So. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Father in heaven, I just want to thank you for what Noreen is doing with these youths out here on the streets, Father God, because you know her heart. And my heart is for the same thing. I, I just, Miss Noreen, I tell you, I feel the spirit all for you. Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is going to heal you. He is our healer. His word says, I am the Lord who heals you. And by his stripes, you were healed. So we're all coming together in one accord. And we're praying for that doctor's hands to be touched, to do what he needs to do to get you right, get you healed, so you can get back to those boys and keep doing that great, wonderful work that the Lord has got you doing. And it's so amazing. Well, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the spirit on Norena and everything she's doing. And bless all of us, all the guys here on this meeting. Yes, God. Father God, open the eyes of our heart. Bless us with your wisdom and your favor, Lord Jesus. And send your angels before us in everything that we do. And I just ask this in your holy, precious name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, just uh, open our eyes and show us your glory. Lord, and make us part of your body. Lord, let us be used as your hand and feet. Yes, Just use in a mighty way, Lord. Father, we thank you for this work that you're doing through Nurina and everyone that's on this call. Lord, you're working in, in all of us and you're reaching out. So we just pray that all of your will be accomplished. Lord, we just pray that all of your will be done. We pray for many children to be touched and saved through that ministry. Lord, and we, we pray for the girls also that you would you would um, reach out and grab them, Lord, and put them into a safe place that they could grow up, Lord, free from from molestation, free yeah. from from uh, being taken advantage of. Father, we just pray in Jesus' name that you open those doors. Father, we just declare health and healing for every little girl there lord yes. jesus just in the name of jesus we rebuke the enemy yes thank you oh, we just rebuke jesus, the enemy the lord. oh lord jesus Hallelujah. that your will be done in this earth we just pray for for huge changes in that whole arena thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus father god I just want to give you thanks lord for the praise report that you have birthed in Sister Marina. Lord God, thank you for calling those orphans to a safe place. Yes, Jesus. Well, Lord God, your word says, Lord, that you are a refuge in times of trouble. Thank you, Lord God, for providing a refuge for, oh God, the fatherless, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for, Father God, making provisions for them, Lord God. Thank you for Sister Marina for answering Thank you, Lord. The call, Lord. Thank you for, you know, calling her, Lord God, Jesus. that these children can 
grow in the ways of the Lord and be taught the ways of righteousness, Father God. Amen. And I pray, Lord God, that you send forth, Lord God, more laborers, Lord God, in that area, Lord God, that they encounter this ministry, Father God, and that there's a major impact, Father God, both men and women, Lord God, whoever you need to send, mm -hmm. Father God, to bring, Father God, about a harvest, oh Lord God, of souls, Lord God, that will enter your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Father God, I pray for the salvation of those, Lord God, who will meet you. I pray for those hearts that are searching for you, where they may they find you <coughs> through this ministry. May they find you through any orphan that has a testimony there, Lord God, about your goodness upon them, Lord God. May that draw, oh God, the village to that place, Lord God. Oh God, even if it brings, Lord God, just one, whatever it takes, Father God. Oh, God, to bring that soul home, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you make a way, that you make the crooked yes, paths straight for them, Jesus. that you draw near by your spirit, Lord, and that they may drink of the cup of salvation just as we have, Lord, and that they may rest in your shalom that you give to all of us, mm -hmm. even now and for eternity. I pray, Lord, that your blessing be upon the ministry, upon Thank Sister Narina. Yes, Jesus. And Father God, I just pray in Jesus' name, Lord, that you protect the ministry, Father God. You protect yes. the ministry, Lord God. May a, a hedge of protection be around the ministry, yeah. that the gates of hell do not prevail against your word that you have spoken over that ministry. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Lord, for the finished work that, that, that we all will see and hear about, and even Sister Narina herself and those who Jesus. bear witness around her. And we praise you in advance, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for, for our sister. Thank you. I thank you for the heart that you've given her for these children, Lord God. I pray you would protect these children. Protect yes. all the children of this generation, protect their minds, protect their innocence, Lord God. Let, get, give them a, a miraculous way to be raised up in the way a child should go, Lord God, so that they will not depart from it, Lord. Just use our sister to plant a seed of faith within children, Lord God, yes. and to raise them up to be strong men and women of Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. God. Yes, Lord. God. Just anoint her ministry lord god just bless her tenfold lord god give her the provision lord for for the vision that you've given her so that she can see it to the finish lord god finish the work that you've started in our sister lord draw the people in that that need to be sent to to this ministry lord and and we thank you so much for for her labor for her faithfulness to you lord and we pray that she would continue to be obedient and follow your will and and always be by you in truth and in spirit in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Father God, I just lift up these men. Fill us up. Men who are stepping out, Lord God, to serve you. I thank you for them. And I pray, Father God, that you walk before them and behind them, Jesus. I pray, Father God, that you send your son to carry them. As they serve you, Lord, bless them, fill them with your spirit, Lord, keep them, keep them close to you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for them because they're diligent. I thank you, Lord, because they're faithful to you. And we, we need that so much today, Lord. It is so dark out there and we need that light. We just praise you and thank you that you are our God, that you died on that cross for us, that you were buried and that you rose. The first fruit, you were the first fruit to rise so that we can be with you. What a perfect plan, Lord. And thank you that you're coming again in glory. Come quickly, Lord. We love you. We thank you and praise you. Father God, I just lift up any of the children that are being brought through that border. I pray, Father God, that you Jesus. rescue them out of the hands of the evil ones, Lord. It's heartbreaking to see children being used and abused, God. Yes. So we just pray for protection over those children. 
bring up leaders to go over there and grab those kids before they get taken by these drug cartel people and evil, wicked people. Jesus. Father, I, I don't know how it could be done. I, don't, I, I really don't, but I know you know. So I just pray for protection over these little children coming through that border. Yes, in Jesus' precious name. Yeah. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, uh, this Zoom is amazing, you, and I, I pray that uh, you keep it on their hearts to continue to pray together. Yes, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that you're doing, guys. It's wonderful. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. Can we all make a joyful noise to the Lord? <laughs> yeah. Can we give him yeah. a hand clap? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I miss Florida, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet you. I bet you do. I bet you do. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are begging me to come down. I'll come down soon when yeah. I'm in order. <laughs> okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. Yeah. Well. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I know there's more we could do and say, but maybe short and sweet is good. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. I guess. Nice thank meeting you. you all. You're welcome. It was nice to hear from you. It's nice yeah. to get to see you as well. Yeah. All right. So do you know, I think we'll probably make you a, a matter of prayer every at least every Monday, if not in between. Good. Good. And, uh, thank you. So um, I think we're maybe seeing uh, we can take up various missions as a group, you know, just uh, getting behind certain things. So keep the testimonies coming. And once in a while, we'll have to have you back on to uh, give us updates and stuff and okay. uh, see where it goes from here. So all right. thank you so much. All right. I, I enjoyed meeting you all. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I thought it'd be thank good you. for the guys to meet you so we can yes. uh, yeah. put a, a face to the name and, and know what we're to get behind. So all right. Thank you. Thank All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and stop recording here and then. Um, okay. Yeah, so let me see here. Uh, where I don't it? know what to do. This is only my second Zoom ever. Is it? Is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs>